Jennifer Christie, welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've been here before. Today I'm doing a little bit of a different video from usual, it's not really makeup related apart from the fact that it is a makeup brand. Anyway, you've probably seen by the title what I'm doing. It's a bit strange and ironic actually that I am doing a hair video because I know practically nothing about hair. I am just not blessed when it comes to having any sort of talent whatsoever with hair styling and um, anything to do with hair really. I can straighten my hair, put it in a ponytail, I can do a plait. That's it. That is all my hair knowledge. That's it. So for about a year, maybe longer than a year actually, I have been contemplating dyeing my hair pink and just not done it because I am too frightened to go away from blonde. I am finally almost at the stage of blonde that I like my hair to be. I would still like to be a little bit lighter in the roots but it took me a really long time to get to the level of blonde that I wanted to be and to mess that all up and put a pink dye in would be ridiculous. So today I am going to be messing all that up and putting a pink dye in. Logic. You know what, I need to live my pink hair fantasies at least once in my life and it may as well be now, so that's what we're doing today. The reason that I thought I would film a video on this is because the hair colour I'm using is actually by a makeup brand. I was surprised to see that they did hair stuff as well, but it is Makeup Revolution or I Heart Revolution. I was in Superdrug the other day and when I walked past these I was like, what the fuck, like, hair? But, um, okay. It's by the I Heart Revolution branch and Makeup Revolution. Um, from what I understand, they all are the one company like Revolution Pro, I Heart Revolution, Obsession. They're all like owned by Makeup Revolution, but it's just different little sections of the brand, if that makes sense. So these are by I Heart Revolution, and for a little pot of colour, it is six pound. This is the Rainbow Tones Cover and Extra Body Conditioning in one and it is a vegan and cruelty free product. It says here that it lasts 8 to 12 weeks which was pretty much the selling point for me because I want something that if I dye my hair I don't want to be stuck with it for like 6 months. I want to get it out my hair easily and um, so this will be perfect. I know sometimes things say oh yeah it lasts 8 to 12 weeks and then it's still stuck in your hair for ages and ages but um, I'll just need to dye it blonde then because I know for a fact I probably will really want to go back to blonde almost immediately, probably tomorrow. So I picked up the shade Pink Cloud. I'm not entirely sure what shade of pink this is. I was under the impression just by the name Pink Cloud that it would be like a kind of bubblegum baby pink is what I'm hoping that it shows up on my hair. Um, but the top of this is a pretty bright pink. I, can't, I don't know why, I just can't see it going that bright and the inside of it looks like this, which is like a pinky, purpley shade that smells really horrible. Not like hair dye horrible though it smells like. Actually the more you smell it the nicer it smells. Of course you are supposed to patch test this 48 hours before using it. Am I going to do that? No. I know I probably should but I'm not going to so if I dye it's not Revolution's fault, it is my own stupid fault for not uh, patch testing myself, so yeah. Let me just see actually if online there is a shade chart for this to see, oh there is, there is, there is. Maybe I should take my hair out so you could see. My hair is dirty at the moment, I purposely haven't washed it because the instructions for this says that you should shampoo your hair and apply it to damp hair. You can apply it right on to your dry hair for a more intense result but because I do want it to be more of a baby pink than a super bold pink colour I think I'm probably best doing it with damp hair. Um, yeah so my hair needs wash anyway and it has a treatment oil in it at the moment but I will of course shampoo that out before I put this on. If your hair colour is this blonde, relatively similar then the colour you should get from it is this. I think that's with dry application. I don't want to be this pink. Well, maybe I do. No, probably not. Like this girl here, her hair's nice. I would like to be a little bit pinker than that. But she's just got it through her ends. 
but that's like a nice colour that's similar to what I'm thinking. The instructions for this basically say apply a shampoo, damp hair, ensuring any residual styling product is removed. Using gloves, apply product to give your hair full coverage, massage gently from roots to tip, leave them for 10 to 15 minutes and rinse thoroughly until the water runs clear. For best results, use on light and bleach or naturally blonde hair. Color will fade gradually, lasts 8 to 12 washes. I guess I'm just going to go and apply this to my hair. I am not going to do it here on camera. One, because it will be really difficult for me to do without a mirror. I'll end up getting it everywhere. And two, my dressing table, shelving units and everything else is white. So I do not want this staining. Um, so I'm going to go and do it in the bathroom. And then once it's on, I'll come back. And I guess then we'll just wait 15 minutes to see what the results are like. Hello. I'm scared now that this is on. I feel like... <laughs> I don't know. Do you know what? I actually bought a lilac one as well, Lilac Dreams, and I wish I had went for this instead. I don't know why, I just... <sighs> okay, I'm just freaking out. My timer is set for 15 minutes and then I'll go and wash it off. Hopefully it's fine. If it's not, it's not really the end of the world, is it? Also, it did tell you to use rubber gloves. Of course you should use rubber gloves, but... um. I ran out of rubber gloves, so a bit, a bit exfoliating and I'm sure it'll be fine. In the meantime, I will tell you why I have not dyed my hair at home in a long, long time. When I was like 17, 18-ish, I became like addicted to dyeing my hair. Right, I don't know if I was like addicted to dyeing my hair but I, 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 I did dye my hair a fair amount so um, at one point I had jet black hair which imagine me with jet black hair. I had red hair at another point as well which I don't know why but like every week I would be like I need to dye my hair another colour. I need to like change my hair right now. And I am the kind of person that when I get a thought into my head, usually I am like, right, I need to like do it. Like I become obsessed with that thought. So when I had like the idea in my head, like I'm going to dye my hair, I would just do it. And so basically my hair wasn't in very good condition, but it was like the length of what I have it now. Maybe a little bit longer. It was kind of like at my waist and um. So I had decided to dye my hair black, dyed my hair black, obviously I don't need to tell you I did not fucking suit this black hair, I looked absolutely horrendous and at this point, bear in mind I actually have like non-existent eyebrows, like they're the blondest things ever and I never ever used to fill in my eyebrows because I did not know that was a thing. I, like back when I was like 18 or 19 like people didn't fill in their well most people didn't fill in their eyebrows so I just had like this like pale face no eyebrows jet black hair and then also probably foundation lips bright pink blush and big black fucking eyeshadow and big raccoon looking it it was a look by the way so dyed my hair black obviously it was horrendous instantly regretted it. I was like, right, I don't have any money to go to hairdressers. I cannot have this black hair any longer. Like, I need to go back to blonde again. Because right before I had the black hair, I was peroxide blonde, which I loved, which, by the way, it also, <laughs> it also looked terrible, to be honest. Um, but better than the black hair still. So I really wanted to go back to the peroxide blonde hair. So I was like, fuck it, I'll just buy loads of bleach and I'll dye my own hair. How hard can it be? So bleached my hair the first time. Obviously, if you're not a moron, you will know that that is not just going to go from black to peroxide blonde straight away. It obviously went orange. So not being satisfied with that and not going and getting a toner and like gradually waiting on my hair to be healthy enough to keep bleaching, I was like, no, fuck that. I'm going to bleach it again. <laughs> and then that didn't work and it still was just orange. So I was like, fuck it, I'll try and put bleach on it one more time and see how that works. And as I was rinsing, oh my god, I actually feel like I'm going to cry. Like, I actually, I'm, I'm being deadly fucking serious. Like, this makes me feel sick to my stomach remembering this. But I just remember being in my bathroom, 
rinsing the bleach out my hair and as I'm washing my hair like it's all just like chunks of hair stringing out in my head like chewing gum and I just I did not know what to do so I just immediately burst into tears realising like fuck I've damaged my hair so fucking much that it is stringing out my hair like chewing gum. I don't know what the fuck to do so like my mum was in my house at the time so I'm like fucking screaming and crying and they come in the bathroom and I'm like oh my hair's falling out and my mum's like yes bitch I told you not to bleach your hair like three times in a row you fucking moron. By the end of it, once I had washed my hair, my lovely waist length hair was this short all over. Literally this short all over my head. <laughs> so basically for the next year, year and a half, I spent my life wearing hats and bandanas and extensions trying to look like I didn't have this much hair all over my head just fucking spiky as shit like can't do anything with it no hairdresser oh by the way and it was also still orange what was left on my hair and no hairdresser would touch my hair they were like bitch I am not dying your hair like it is absolutely well and truly fucked like we're not touching it they were like just leave your hair as long as possible so I had this bright orange hair, like this short, all over my head um, for a really long time. Tried to cover it up best I could and like style it out. I could not style it out. It looked fucking horrendous. There is, there is, there is no like denying how terrible this hair looked. When it had eventually grown in long enough, I ended up getting a graduated bob. And because my hair was still so damaged and unhealthy, like the the ends of my hair and I didn't want any any more of them to fall out the hairdresser was like the best thing that we can do is dye your hair dark rather than trying to dye it a blonde again because it's going to be far too damaging for your hair so I had like a black graduated bob for a really long time as well which again I did not suit so yeah I don't do shit to my hair often on my own because um, the crippling fear that all my hair is going to fall out. I'm sure this will be fine. So the moral of the story is, if you're a fucking idiot like me and you think that you can dye your hair black and then go back to blonde and bleach your hair three times in a row in the one day, do not fucking do it. Like, it brings back a really dark time in my life. And also I wasn't like looking that great either. For some reason at this point, I was so fat as well. Like, I don't know what was going on in my life at this point my life was fucking falling apart i had no hair was extremely fat had an orange tan no eyebrows and my mental health state was all over the fucking place I but you live and you learn don't you and now i know not to do stupid things with my hair or like i'm doing a stupid thing with my hair right now perhaps but hopefully this turns out okay so I'm going to go and wash this off now. I'll come back when it's dried and styled and let you see how it's all ended up. And here's hoping that all my hair doesn't fall out. <laughs> so my James Charles palette distracted me. That is why this face situation is going on. With this makeup and this hair, I look like a mental person. I look like a crazy old lady who works in a charity shop and wears dresses that she knitted herself and has loads of cats and smells like cat piss. Do I like the hair? I do not like the hair at all, one bit. I did have it straightened, it looked even worse straight than what it does curled. Like there is some parts of my hair that it is just not taken to, like at all. There are some parts that have come up like really bright pink and I think the colour on these parts is actually relatively decent but I mean I mean I definitely covered my full hair here and it's like you can see like a tiny little pink tinge to it but that's it like my roots they literally haven't changed at all really um would I recommend this hair dye absolutely not I think I look ridiculous 
maybe it's something to do with the fact as well I have blue lips, blue eyes and pink hair. I look like a not hot drag queen. So I summarise, I shouldn't have dyed my hair. Uh, it, does, it feels in good condition though is the one thing I will say. If I'm being honest, I'm probably going to wash my hair like in consecutive nights until this comes out. It is not good at all. Like, I don't really know what else to say apart from I'm really sad. If you want to see how I've done this makeup um, using the James Charles palette, it'll either already be up, and if it's up, I'll put a link in the description box. If it's not up, I'll um, it'll be up in a couple of days, so just keep an eye out for that. Make sure you're subscribed if you want to see it. Um, I don't really have much else to say. I'm very disappointed, um, but it's not the end of the world, you know. People are starving, people are dying, like, <sighs> you live and you learn. Anyway, um, I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope it's been somewhat informative. I don't think it has been. Um, anyway, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.